guys and welcome back to more Persona 4 Golden. Now we are about to go clubbing with the golf club with Yosuke and uh, the main character. And how does nobody see this? When did someone get suspicious, dude? Oh, it snapped. Holy shit. See? I knew this wasn't gonna work. Now what? Okay then. No, there's no way someone can get suspicious now. <laughs> No, focus, focus, here we go. Yeah, we're still in the same place where we were before. Is this... Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. I just said that, Yosuke. You guys, why'd you come back? Hey, what's up going on? What's up going on, Teddy? I get it. You're the ones behind this. What? You're that thing from last time. Making assumptions. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. Okay. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. <laughs> That was a horrible growl. <laughs> Don't label us like that. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... The murderer. Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Of course. Hey, that would make sense. What do you think? That must be it. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? And then whoever's thrown in here shows up on the Midnight Channel, and then we have how many That's hours to case. save that person? What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life. Li yeah, it kind of snapped. <laughs> hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. <laughs> I'm the one who wants to. You see how quickly he changed his tone, Yosuke? <laughs> I've lived here for a long time. But it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Proof? It doesn't work that way. Proof? Proof? Shut up. Should we tell him to shut up? Let's say... Let's say proof? See? So it is you guys. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. <laughs> Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? Yeah, we just said that. I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. Huh? It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. That's weird. Ah. Uh, huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. <laughs> if it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. Calm down, Teddy. I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying you might be the culprits. I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear is <laughs> nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? 
What does that mean? Midnight Channel. Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Always been like this, what do you mean? Run that by me again? All of them are just asking questions that we already know. Let's say always been like this. Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. We don't know what these shadow things are or what you are either for that matter. You keep <laughs> telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe <laughs> you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. What Whoa. the? He has what nobody. The hell are you? It, it's empty inside. That's weird. Me? The culprit? Hmm. I wouldn't do such a thing. Because I remember in Persona 4, Rin is some, it's some blonde chick would pop out of Teddy. It's so weird because in Persona 4 Arena it had like a blind chick and a blind dude that would pop up randomly. That's I so just weird. Live here. <laughs> what the I hell? Just wanna live here I'm peacefully. so confused, dude. I don't know what to say. Okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Yeah, that's no problem. Promise me. Or else. I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. Oh wow. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> what the... What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Jeez, can we go kill some people already? The mysterious beer is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the upside is storing people into this world. If the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. <sighs> hey, what should we do? The only thing we can do, Yosuke. You remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? What was the contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of us? Promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be a no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Why not? Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. <laughs> but it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You got a name? Teddy! <laughs> Figures. <laughs> but how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. Huh, The last great. person? You mean Saki-senpai? Show us. I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. I guess it would be Saki. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. Oh, huh. glasses? What the hell are these, these glasses, glasses for? <laughs> we said it at the same time. Whoa, it got clear really quick. Holy shit. Your vision instantly became much clearer. Whoa. The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. How does he How did Teddy even have those glasses for us? <laughs> They'll help you walk through the fog. He was just prepared for us, huh? Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. No problem. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? <laughs> we brought weapons, but, I mean, 
They're more for show. <laughs> a golf club? We just got here. <laughs> if it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. Moral support. How's that sound? Can Teddy really not fight? Try touching Teddy. Try pushing Teddy. Try hitting Teddy. Let's try pushing Teddy. <laughs> no! <laughs> that was such hey, mean. Is this thing for real? That was so mean. Uh, this is so lame. <laughs> we swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki Senpai person? Someone you know? <laughs> Fellow classmates. That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. All right, let's go. Finally, Wait! I'm ready to club some people. What now, Teddy? Oh, I gotta pick him up. <laughs> That's funny how you had the option of hitting Teddy, pushing Teddy, or touching him. What is this place? I wonder if there was a right or wrong like the choice district. there. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled. I. I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? <laughs> you better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your Whatever way. Whatever you say, Teddy. Whatever you say, uh, bro. All right. Man, this place looks crazy weird, this. dude. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? It's funny because this is actually like on when you start up Persona 4 Arena, this is actually the How place I know? This that is it shows the at night here. on the hub. As usual, we nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! Who are they? What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack! Uh-oh. It's going uh -huh. down. Uh -huh. Oh, Shadow Face. Dude, this game has a long introduction, dude. We haven't even fought yet. This is crazy. What the hell? <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. The time has come. Open thine eyes and call forth what is within. Wait, how can he summon his persona without an invoker? How can he do that? So. Oh shit! The badass music just came on. Oh, dude, this is epic. Ah, <laughs> right, it's Izanagi. Finally. Some shadows have weaknesses. Yeah, I know this already. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. Okay. 
when you use an attack the enemy is weak against and it will be knocked down. Finally, we get to the gameplay. We get to the freaking the battle system. This is what I've been waiting for. Compared to other attacks, attacking the enemy's weakness does more damage. If you can knock all enemies down, you'll get one more. Use your weapons and skills to get enemy weaknesses to get one more attack to get the advantage in battle. However, if the enemies attack your weakness, blah 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 blah, you already know this because you play Persona 3 Portable. Do, 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 do. So this is the thing. I did not know this song was the battle theme. I thought it was just like a song that would appear randomly like during the events during the story. But I didn't know it was the battle song for this game. Alright, so analysis. Yikes! This is one tough enemy! I bet you he they're weak against lightning since it's probably the only skill I have available. Oh man. What I say? What I say? Keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. <laughs> nice. You can check known information about the enemy with the analyze command or by pressing the L button. So Okay, that's cool. Cuz in Persona 3 Portable, even if even if you hit him with the uh, weakness, it wouldn't remember it unless you got the navigator to basically uh, scan the enemy before you killed it. But it doesn't matter in this game. If you hit it with a weakness, it's actually saved to the database. That's cool. Douche! What? I don't get an all-out attack. Oh, I'm only by myself. That's right. Clubbing! Nice. Clubbing. Clubbing people. Oh man, look at this screen. It looks so. Man, look how hot that screen looks. I'm gonna touch it. Ah, oh, it burns! It burns! Look how awesome it looks. You felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Wow. I really like this hub. I like this screen a lot more than Persona 3 Portable. You are now able to create personas up to level 2. This is good stuff. The other self, you have a. What? You get trophies on the Vita? Get out of town! I didn't even know you can get trophies in this game. That's cool. Let's continue. <laughs> Hiro Tetsuyo has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade. Is that how you say that? Facade? 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 Facudi? You know, he has obtained, used to overcome life's hardships, the Persona Izanagi. I completely skipped that word. Whoa, That's how I do things. That? If I can't pronounce it, I skip it. Did I hear <laughs> you say Persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Perhaps. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. <laughs> sensei? S sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei! I am one impressed bear! I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power! No wonder the shadows were scared <laughs> of you! Flattery will get you nowhere, Teddy. I'm just letting <laughs> you know you right now. Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? <laughs> and that's what I thought! This is really something! Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude! You call him sensei and then don't show me any respect? <laughs> Sorry. I guess you don't have the skills, Yosuke. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. So Teddy is basically the analyzing we'll person of the game. On out. It's the navigator. Now let's get back to the investigation. Let's do it. I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. What the? Is that people? Voices began to echo from somewhere. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. Whoa! It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Oh, wow. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. 
What a troublesome child. Are you kidding me right now? Hey, hey, Ted. Is it like Saki's family? You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Wow, this is getting interesting. Holy cow. So where the hell are we now? Is this the liquor shop? Damn it, not again. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this... Hmm. It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Kanishi smiling. Yosuke is standing next to her. I... never had the chance to say it. Say what? Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. <laughs> wow. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. P pain in the ass? Wow. Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. Huh? I wish everything would just disappear. Why was she even working there anyway? It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so what sorry the hell? for myself. Boo-hoo. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> what the hell? Is that Shadow Yosuke? Uh, huh? Two Yosuke? What the hell's going on here, dude? Who are you? This is cool. I, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness, too. You're sick of everything. Especially living out in the sticks. Huh. What are you saying? Th that's not true. I... You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. Wow. Then what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? Wow. I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do. What the hell is going on? So is that like his inner thoughts or whatever? Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? Huh. A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? It's not true. Stop! Stop it! You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! Wow. <laughs> and that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that. I don't know you. You can't be me, you son of a 